a very good morning to all of you welcome to ANB exam forum student as you know CSIR has released SO that is section officer and assistant section officer post for year 2023 and the last date for applying for this particular post is 12th Jan and I know all of you have filled this particular exam because this exam is very good for the aspirants who want to take government job okay so we are starting a new series that is crack csir 2023 and on the same note we are bringing the first video on selection process in this video we are going to see the entire selection process through the flowchart okay so without further ado let's uh, begin the session student your exam journey start with the application okay so you have applied for the post and your journey starts here okay after that uh, you, you need to prepare it okay you need to prepare it according the syllabus you need to plan it you need to execute it after that you have your paper one exam i will not discuss the entire exam pattern for this paper one exam okay just uh, take the major things like there will be 150 questions and each question carry one marks that is 150 marks and the time duration is two hours one important thing student there is a negative marking of 1 by 3 that is 0.33 and the exam will be bilingual and computer based okay I will not cover the entire uh, syllabus of this particular exam because our focus is on the selection process not on the syllabus okay so after a paper one exam you will have your paper two exam this paper one exam and paper two exam can be on the same day or can be on the different day that CSI will take care okay don't worry they will intimate you as and when required okay again the paper 2 uh, will have general intelligent reasoning and mental ability and there will be 200 questions and each question carry one mark that is total of 200 marks and the time duration will be two and a half hours that is a huge time and uh, there will be definitely a negative marking of 1 by 3 that is 0.33 and again the exam will be bilingual as well as computer based okay so this exam can be on the same day or can be on the different day okay that CSIR will notify when it happens okay so once your paper 1 and paper 2 exams are over then there will be one normalization as you know whenever the exam take place in different shift the difficulty level might be different for different shift okay so normalization is must for in that case so the formula uh, will be decided by CSR and will be notified in the due course of time and this normalization will take place on 350 marks how 350 this is 200 this is 150 so a grand total of 350 so this normalization will happen definitely okay so once your normalization is over then they will look for the minimum threshold which is also known as cutoff so in one thing you need to note that it is overall cutoff not the sectional cutoff okay so what is the cutoff that is not given in the advertisement but definitely it will be out of 350 marks and it will be de decided by CSIR right and if you are not able to get that minimum threshold or cutoff your journey stops there okay and you need to restart again right uh, okay anyhow so if you are able to get the cutoff definitely there will be a merit list so the merit list uh, will be based on combined performance of paper 1 paper 2 this is not paper 3 student uh, just uh, this is a typing mistake so it is a combined performance of paper 1 and paper 2 not paper 3 please correct it which is of total 350 marks and how many the uh, candidates they will call they have not uh, clearly mentioned in the advertisement 
okay we'll try to put rti in that case okay let's see what is their reply okay so the merit will be based on paper one and paper two student remember okay and out of 350 so if you are not able to come in merit your journey stops there again and if you are able to get the merit you will proceed to the paper 3 exam student paper 1 and paper 2 are objective paper and this is descriptive paper which consists of both english and hindi and uh, the marks will be 150 marks and you will have 2 hours obviously there will be no negative marking and no normalization because it will be done on the same day and uh, it will be common for all the candidates right so again uh, similar to paper 1 and paper 2 uh, they will be cut off but this time it is out of 500 how this 500 comes it is total of paper 1 paper 2 and paper 3 paper 1 is of 150 paper 3 is 150 so total 300 and paper 2 is of 200 so there is total of 500 marks so cut off will be decided again by csr they have not clearly mentioned in the advertisement it is their discretion okay so if you are able to come under cut off uh then you can proceed for the merit list otherwise your journey stops here and again the merit will be the combined performance of all these three paper which is of 500 marks again uh how many times they have not mentioned i am very clear okay and if not not uh, able to come in the merit uh, your journey stops there and you are proceeding to next if you are under the merit okay so after that this is only for so section officer there will be an interview okay um, why there is an interview for so because it is a level 8 job so for level 8 there is an interview for assistant section officer there will be no interview but there will be computer proficiency test that i am going to cover in the next slide okay so the interview will be of 100 marks and again there will be merit and it will be the combined performance of all these three paper which we have seen of 500 marks along with the interview so a grand total of 600 marks okay so if you are able to come under merit you not if you are not able to come under merit your journey stops there otherwise you have reached the destination okay i am not covering the document verification uh, that anyhow everybody can clear okay unless and until you have fulfilled all the requirements right so this is for so for aso there will be computer proficiency test uh, which will be qualifying in nature okay and uh, again there will be a merit and uh, this time this will be only combined performance of paper 1 paper 2 and paper 3 which is of 500 marks we have not included cpt because it is qualifying in nature okay so if a uh, candidate is able to come under merit he will be reaching his destination otherwise uh, their journey stops here okay so that's it so we have quickly seen the selection process in a clear and concise manner and if you are liking this video you share it with your friends and we will try to post new videos on this particular series okay so thank you for watching and have a nice day